Eastern Wisconsin 2012 here today. Uh, just bringing you a brief little clip. Um, it's basically my top four favorite Texas rigging baits that I had this season. Um, I'll quickly go over for those of you who don't know what a Texas rig is, uh, how it works, and what it really is. So basically with the Texas rig, you have a wide gap hook. This is a three-out owner. And then you have your weight. This is a 3 16th ounce striking uh, tungsten weight, not pegged. And then you just got your line, your rod, and your reel. And then you have a bait threaded on there. But uh, I'm going to basically get quickly into this because I've got my top four baits here. Um, starting out with number four. Hang on. Number four is the Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss in Big Texan color. And uh, why I really like this bait this season was because of its color. Um, it really kind of caught my eye when I looked at it the first time, but I never really thought that it would play a, a very big factor in my season because I'd never really fished this this actual bait before, but I always really kind of liked this color. And I a lot of the Havoc fans don't, and I really don't know why. It's just a really, really good like you get into July when the fish are deeper, deep water, and they're looking for uh, molting crawfish. Before they turn black and blue, this is actually identical to what they look like. So they also look for this, and this kind of lets the fish know that there is a softness in that shell, and it's not going to be as hard of a crayfish to eat. So you know that's that's number four. Number three, I'm going to have to go with the seven and a half inch. Culprit Tequila Sunrise Ribbon Tail Worm. Uh, just a great little worm to be Texas rigging. Whether it be Texas or Carolina, I caught fish on both styles this year. Deep water in the summertime, deep, colder water. This really seemed to, to get the bite going. Um, whether it was ledge fishing or stuff like that, just really seemed to catch me a lot of fish this, this year. Um, I just like how the pattern is on this bait, and it just really helped me. Next is uh, another new bait that I fished this, this year, and it's the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver 420 in hematoma color. Now it's black blue with purple flake. I already like black blue, and in Wisconsin, purple is a just monster color. As you can see, it's got some purple flakes in there. Kind of see them flash every little once in a while. But that purple flake just, just seemed to give it just that little extra kick that it needed. Um, you know, to put it above the rest of the black and blue baits. I use these as jig trailers, but mainly I use these flipping them on a trail car TK-130, um, just flipping into grass, reeds, stuff like that. But this is a bait, if you want to catch a lot of fish on a Texas rig, you want to have a high catch rate, you're going to want to be reaching for them sweet beavers. Number one, and I mean this is just an amazing little bait, the Berkeley Havoc Rocket Craw. Um, this is designed by Scott Suggs, but it's just, just an amazing little craw. It's a craw type bait, but it's got these two long antennas with these little, little claws that are more like ribbons, but they can have this ridge of plastic right there, and that just gives these so much action. On Delavan, you've seen that video of me fishing on Lake Delavan, hopefully, and I caught a lot. Actually, 90% of my fish that day I caught on this bait. I only caught a little bit on the Pit Boss. So that's that's uh, that's my last one. But green, pumpkin, purple, definitely the color to have in Wisconsin. Really brings those fish in. But um, another thing I just want to address quickly is I just want to thank you guys so much for all 500 subscribers. Um, it really means a lot. I've been working hard and trying to get this stuff done. So uh, it's been Fishing Wisconsin 2012. Look forward to more videos coming out from me. I'm starting to get some tactics stuff lined up and writing them out. And uh, Everybody have a good holiday if I don't have another video up before then and uh see you guys later